Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Satisfaction Saturday. God has kept us all week long, and we're now finding ourselves going into this first weekend in Lent. Tomorrow is the first Sunday of Lent, and we're just so grateful how God has blessed us to see this time. As you know, uh, things have changed um, in this whole COVID-19 environment. We've made some modifications, some adjustments, and we're just so grateful that God still has a work for us all to do, and that we're still on the planet to do it. Look with me today into the Word of God, Old Testament, out of the wisdom literature, the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verses one through eight. This is a very interesting passage, and it comes, I believe, at a very pivotal time as we look at our whole liturgical calendar. It is here in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, that the writer tells us there is a time for everything under the heavens. And today, like no other day, we see it's a time like no other under the heavens. It talks about there's a season for everything. We now find ourselves uh, uh, about to enter into meteorological spring. The, the temperatures are getting warmer. So it tells us there's a season in every part of life. You know, we talk about our four seasons that we have here. We talk about the different seasons in a person's life. We talk about the seasons of marriage. We talk about the seasons of adulthood and of just life and living in general. But in the Bible, it tells us there's a season and there's a purpose for everything under the heaven. There's a time to be born. There's a time to die. It talks about uh, there's a time uh, to plant. There's a time to harvest. And we look at what's happening in our world. It appears as though it's a very different kind of time. Uh, there's war going on in the uh, in the European part of the world. Uh, there's so much uh, that's happening that, you know, we don't want to get into all the details of it, but it begins to help us to re-examine what season is it in the world in which we live. The Bible tells us there's a time for war, there's a time for peace. It talks about there's a time to embrace, there's a time to refrain from embracing. And we know during COVID-19, many of us, we've refrained from embracing simply because it was so many unknown variables about what is happening. But he tells us there's a time and a purpose and a season for everything. And one of the things during this season of Lent, we have to ask ourselves the question, where and what am I doing in this season in my life? Is this a season where God is developing me for something new, for something I've never imagined, for something that I've always wanted to do? As you know, when springtime comes about, you begin to see uh, all the new little creatures coming from every kind of animal, all different species, all different fowls. It seems like springtime is the time that you see so many little things growing. I don't know about you, but in my yard, the daffodils have already sprung up, as we say, because it happens during springtime. This could be the time in all of our lives that it becomes a spiritual springtime. It's a time that we have new growth like we've never seen before. During this season of Lent, it's a good time for us to have new growth. We find something new. We find out there is something vibrant that God has inside of us and is now growing from us. And that can only happen when we allow God's word to be planted deep in our lives. And we allow his Holy Spirit to be the water, to be the sunlight, to be the cultivating matter that causes us to be the people that God has called us to be. Today, I want to ask you, what season is it in your life? I'm asking myself, what season is it in my life? I believe it's a season for new things to grow, for new adventures in faith, for new ways in which we can rediscover and discover those things that God would have us to do. As we go into this time of springtime, it's the season in our lives during this moment of Lent that we begin to ask God, God, I know I'm putting things away, but what is that new thing you would have me to do? Just as spring brings new life, God, bring new life from me. Remind me you are not through with me yet. Remind me there's some more seasons. There's some more things you would have me to do. What season is it in your life? And allow God to be the sunshine that you will walk right into the blessings that God has in store for you, that you might be a blessing in someone else's life. Remember this year of 2022, God has a blessing that's in store for you. And let's share that blessing with the world around us. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow in worship here at the fountain. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. 
Download today, select giving from the main menu and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.